thank you so much to Dorothy Elena Sendin. And now, after that uh, wonderful uh, speech, uh, we will have a series of comments from the following discussants. So each will be given 15 minutes. Uh, the first one will be Mr. Rudy Kanya, uh, the head of the Board of Investments Manufacturing Industries Department of the Department of Trade and Industry followed by Ms. Mars F. Mendoza, the Executive Director of the Philippine Rural Reconstruction Movement. Uh, and then, last but not the least, Dr. Amado M. Mendoza, Jr. of the Department of Political Science, uh, professor of uh, uh, teaching uh, in areas of international studies and political economy. Thank you. So, Mr. Kahn. Magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. And uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Bernie. I hope I uh, have uh, blessed you in our team. Sorry, I remember my girlfriend in college was for and she was called Bernie. Anyway, uh, <laughs> thank you for inviting us uh, here, Dr. Jose. But as I uh, mentioned to Dr. Jose earlier in the game, I'm an instant replacement. It's supposed to be Dr. Perry uh, Rudolph who is here, and he's an assistant, assistant secretary uh, of USEC uh, 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 our uh, managing head in the UI, and also uh, under secretary for uh, trade investment policy. Uh, so, uh, while, while listening to Ms. Lynn's uh, talk a uh, while ago, uh, incidentally, I came to UI in 1988, and it was during the time that this, uh, her strip business was already uh, in the decline. Uh, it was 1989 where actually the strip business really uh, got hit uh, by the Emperor's death. I think it was caused by the Emperor's death that uh, the strip export was uh, uh, it, uh, it became uh, it came to the during that time. And uh, those that uh, invested in shrimp uh, farming in uh, Negros, uh, by the way, from Negros was the time. And my Kababayan in Negros was, uh, were severely hit in that decline of uh, the, well, it, it was a sudden decline then uh, of the shrimp industry uh, export. And I could remember uh, Ms. Elena Lim's uh, uh, farm or shrimp company, AA Export, which we uh, in BOI were able to process for uh, registration to just to avail of incentives like tax credit and fees and uh, all that. And eventually, this tax credit became uh, useless because uh, nobody, if there's nobody can be transferred, this tax credit certificate will uh, to be transferred to. So uh, we, uh, at that time as well, uh, the cooperative, the uh, export producer cooperative, the Necros from uh, producers cooperative was also uh, crying already because uh, investments were made, but uh, sales uh, production were uh, at the uh, uh, of loss, no? so uh, many have uh, converted in their sugarcane farm into uh, shrimp farm, but uh, again, uh, uh, much investment was put in, but uh, it was never recovered no? because of that uh, decline in the shrimp industry. Uh, on uh, the manufacturing side, electronics, uh, well, I was not able to catch up with the Muslims' uh, entry in the electronics uh, industry uh, with Sony. Uh, although I bought uh, most of my audiovisual, audio, audio video equipment with Sony then, yes. Uh, so, uh, in fact, sabi pa nga doon sa, sa Muslim, anong gusto mong brand? Kasi, generic yung kanya. Pag pudali ka sa Muslim, o sa uh, yung sa mga mood, uh, uh, 
traders. Walang brand. Kung ano gusto mong brand. So, hindi gusto mong kapatak natin. So, so, ganyan po yung nangyayari. Man, in the, in the topic, uh, globalization and liberalization, well, I just can't uh, comment on that. I just hope and uh, believe that uh, when uh, the Philippines came into, well, joined uh, and signed uh, WTO in uh, 1997, as uh, narrated by Ms. King, I hope that they were actually guided with wisdom uh, and supposed to be, and that's for the good of the, as, well, as promised, uh, good for the uh, Philippines and good for business and good for people. And uh, because it opens up trade, but uh, uh, personally, I, I saw uh, when during my in the DOI uh, for 25 years, I, I, I could uh, personally observe that we were not prepared to open up. So uh, our industries were were uh, not that prepared to, to uh, join the, the gold team of uh, fierce competition against uh, uh, foreign. The 10-year period, the 10-year period, the next period that we're getting to uh, developing economies were, was, was seem to be very short. Uh, as uh, narrated in the books of uh, Islam, uh, masyadong maikli. Uh, yung period na yun, uh, if we are to consider the level of development of those uh, rich countries against the, less, uh, the, the developing ones like the Philippines. No? So, uh, I, I agree, she's right uh, in saying that this uh, grace period was was really not gracious enough to, to be, uh, bring a grace, uh, grace to the Philippine economy. So, uh, but uh, for today, under the uh, current administration and management of the DPI and DOI, uh, we're uh, coming up with a new approach. Uh, like uh, now, as you perhaps have heard, we are into industry mapping, uh, sectoral mapping for industries. And uh, after uh, we are able to integrate this and consolidate this and come up with a national industrial policy strategy, uh, this will be now our basis for industrial uh, development policies as well as trade policies. And uh, even in the crafting of the investment priorities plan will also be based on this. And uh, uh, Yusuf Cristobal is uh, hoping and uh, targeting this date uh, before the year ends, uh, we're able to come up with this uh, national industrial policy. And uh, the DPI also uh, Institutionalizing the uh, one voice, one one country, one voice approach in uh, in uh, the consultation with the stakeholders uh, before we even up sign, even sign up uh, new FDAs. So uh, uh, but that's uh, foreign trade agreements like uh, the Antigua or the. Uh, ASEAN China, ASEAN Korea, ASEAN India, and uh, before any FTAs will be coming in, we will see to it that uh, we're able to uh, consult broadly uh, all stakeholders uh, and uh, extensively uh, with the different stakeholders in the uh, industry. And we also do uh, one country, one team, uh, which is an uh, interagency uh, approach of uh, forming and uh, negotiating the team uh, to proceed with uh, coming up with, uh, with even uh, the crafting of uh, an agreement uh, for FDAs, uh, new FDAs. And uh, to support our uh, current uh, or existing FDAs, we are uh, also conducting the, the doing uh, business in free trade areas uh, where the DTI is uh, uh, consulting the different industries uh, whether they have benefited or and what are the issues and problems they have encountered in, in the implementation of these uh, trade agreements. So like uh, uh, were there, uh, they are, are they encountering uh, trade part, non, non tariff trade uh, non-tariff uh, barriers uh, in their export to other ASEAN or other trading partners. 
and uh, and uh, the like. No? So, uh, uh, mayroon yung consultation. Uh, we are doing that uh, in a regional and even provincial uh, level. No? So, to, to consult uh, uh, particularly exporters and uh, manufacturers of uh, products affected by the FTAs that we have entered into. So, uh, yan po yung ginagawa ng DTI uh, together with the DOI and uh, in coming up with um, a more uh, credible and uh, defensible uh, trade agreements uh, under of course the auspice of uh, WTO. Uh, yun nga lang, masyado daw tayong mabilis uh, ganyan din ang aming observation uh, masyado mabait ang Pilipinas ang uh, Philippine government in the, in the negotiating table masyado tayong uh, in culture kasi natin na uh, may palabra di ulo tayo. So kaya lang, uh, hindi na, na recognizing na yung iba naman, uh, tuso rin. So, uh, kaya lang mahirap yung tuso na hindi ka naman talaga tuso rin. So, uh, pag uh, mahirap pag sinumaling, pag hindi ka talaga talaga sanay pag sinumaling. So, uh, now we're avoiding, uh, we're, we're not avoiding, but uh, we're trying to refine our approach so that we will be able to uh, come up with uh, a more uh, effective uh, trade agreements in the future. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, that's uh, what I can say.